To create a takeoff, click Add Takeoff, which brings up the Takeoff dialog box where you can type in the name of a one-time takeoff or search for existing takeoffs from the Esticom out-of-the-box database or your very own custom database of parts and assembly. In our first example, we'll create a takeoff for an item that does not exist in the database yet, and we'll call this a random widget. Next, we'll adjust the takeoff type, which in this case will be count. We'll adjust the symbol, size, and color. And lastly, click Add to Plan. This puts us in takeoff mode, and you can see that our cursor is now a crosshair that can be used to count items by hovering over the item and using a single mouse click to highlight and count the item. You can use a single click and hold to pan around the drawing. To exit takeoff mode, click the takeoff name, which puts you back into edit mode, where you can make adjustments to the takeoffs like delete or move to a new location. Let's add another takeoff, and this time we'll search our out-of-the-box catalog for a linear assembly such as three-quarter inch overhead branch conduit with three number 12 wires. This time we'll select linear and adjust our takeoff properties again, so the shape, size, color, and again click add to plan. This places us into takeoff mode and we can begin taking our measurement by using a single mouse click to start the measurement and by dragging our mouse across the screen. You can use single mouse clicks to turn and you can use the backspace key if you make a mistake and need to back off one segment at a time. You'll use a double click to end the measurement and you'll notice you're still in takeoff mode and are free to begin another measurement. 